from them, right? We have much bigger examples, I think, of total lawlessness. Or, you know, Obamacare is, you know, they were supposed to implement the personal mandate in 2014. Oh, it's not going well. We'll just waive it. We'll just tell the bureaucracy one more year, even though the law was very specific on that deadline. So the imperial presidency is everywhere now. What is the balance that the legislature gives us? Well, ultimately, it's power of the purse, right? I think there's a line in Shakespeare, maybe Julius Caesar said it, that uh, he who controls the purse strings controls the world, right? Basically, Congress has not been willing enough to just sort of say, hey, we don't like that. We're not going to fund it. Can't do it. And there's many ways to go about this. Mia Love, right now, Congresswoman from Utah, Republican, she's got a piece of legislation in front of Congress that would say that you could no longer have these omnibus bills where there's like 30,000 laws going in at once and no one knows what's in the bill. But every single new law would have to be voted on separately. You make them separate pieces of legislation, you don't have to shut down the whole government. You just have some stupid law that can't even make it out of committee, let alone get to a floor vote. And then it stops. I mean, that would be one very simple, direct way. Congress is full of them. Dummy politicians who don't have a clue. Time for an outsider who can fix it. Republican Sean Flynn. Sean Flynn's no dummy, but he did write economics for dummies. The Flynn plan? Streamline and balance the budget. Replace Obamacare. Cut regulations to create more high-paying jobs. Now that's smart. Republican Sean Flynn, because we can't afford more dummies in D.C. I'm Sean Flynn, and I approve this message. Now, I, I have a fantasy that one day, not only will every single bill in Congress have to be read by every single member of Congress, but that every single existing law would have to be read and approved on a yearly basis. Well, you know, I, I agree with the sunset idea, right? You know, you're, you said on a yearly basis, maybe not on a yearly basis, but I think every piece of legislation could come should come with a sunset horizon. Another thing we could do is go to two-year budget cycles. Israel did this a few years ago, and it had a massively beneficial effect because it it's so hard to budget year by year in these massive bureaucracies and plan for any change, right? Mostly what you do is you request last year's budget plus an extra 3% or something, and no one actually plans for the future. So with two-year budgeting cycles, Congress would actually have more time to do what you say and actually read the darn legislation instead of just having to constantly pass appropriations bills and stuff to just kind of keep the machine fed. One more thing, you asked me for you know how we could fix this. The, uh, the other thing is... Congress needs to stop delegating to the regulators the writing of most of the laws. Right now, Congress will pass a bill like the Dodd-Frank bill after the financial crisis that was supposed to clean up Wall Street, and they'll tell, in that case, the Securities and Exchange Commission, hey, you need to pass these new financial regulations to make sure that doesn't happen again. But then it's the bureaucrats who get to write the laws, and guess who pressures them all the time? Special interest lobbyists, right? So you have industries ending up regulating themselves. And so a simple way to do that is just Congress will actually have to not just pass the top level legislation that says, oh, we need regulations, go write them, but actually write the regulations themselves. That would go a massive way to putting the legislature back in charge. Will you vote for any bill that you don't read? Uh, no. <laughs> And I definitely will not vote for many bills I do read, right? <laughs> um, there's a lot of junk that gets proposed every year, right? And uh, one of the most important functions of the legislature and then the president with the veto is just simply to say no, right? Um, we have too many laws as it is. We're overtaxed. We're overregulated. And Congress should move very carefully anytime it wants to impose any new rules on the system. They darn well better make sure that it'll be an improvement. Tell me a little bit about some of the leaders before you that have inspired you. The person who stands out, who was the hero of my youth, was Ronald Reagan. I'm old enough to remember the 70s and sitting in gas lines and hyperinflation and my dad being unemployed for long periods of time. And we were on food stamps and the Iranians had taken our people hostage. And every night, Walter Cronkite, who was the big journalist at the time, would finish his broadcast by saying day 364, day 475, and then every day it was a bigger number. And Jimmy Carter was completely impotent. He, he did nothing. And then when the Soviets invaded Afghanistan shortly thereafter, his only response was to boycott the Olympics, right? We were a country after Vietnam that basically had lost its way completely, both domestically and 
internationally. And then Reagan basically said, no, we're going to stand up strong again. We are the beacon of freedom for the whole world, and we're going to act like it, and we're going to build a 600-ship navy. And the Iranians got it. They released the hostages the day Reagan was sworn in, right? And uh, and then things boomed again. And so, you know, a large inspiration for me right now, because I see America heading in the wrong direction, I don't feel we should be giving up, right? There's a lot of despair there. If you poll Americans now, 70% think their children are going to be worse off in the future than they are today, and their grandchildren even worse off than that. That's how it looked in the 70s, too. That And, you know, Jimmy Carter famously, and you could look up on YouTube, gave his Malays speech, Malays in America, using this ridiculously f- fancy French word to mean a permanent state of lousiness. And he basically got on TV and told the American people, yeah, we are losing our power vis-a-vis the Soviets. We are, you know, falling apart domestically, economically. There's sky-high unemployment. There's sky-high interest rates. There's massive inflation. And you people should get just get used to it. This is the new normal. There is malaise in America, right? And he was serious. He'd given up. The president of the United States had given up on things ever being good again. But Reagan believed. Reagan believed in the American dream. He believed in the founding. He believed in Lincoln. He believed in the civil rights movement. He believed that we could always get better and shoot for the stars. And so I'm confident that if we can get the right people in the Congress, the Senate, the presidency, we can turn this whole thing around. America can prosper and grow again. Who is your favorite superhero? Spider-Man. Um, you know, this was a more or less ordinary person transformed. A very different thing to grow up as Superman, where you had superpowers even as a two-year-old, than to be an average ordinary Joe Schmo and then be given this magical gift and decide what you're going to do with it. All of us have this choice to make because we've actually been given much more power than we realize. Every day we have opportunities to actually make a difference in other people's lives. I think the lesson there is for everyone to look at the powers you have. You didn't realize they were superpowers, but the fact that you could make a huge difference in someone's life by just going to a soup kitchen or you know donating to a particular charity that does really good things in your local neighborhood or volunteering to teach kids to read, right? These these are actually superhero activities, right? To me, the lesson of that was just, you know, try your best and uh, you could do great things. So he was my favorite. This is actually the last question of my standard interview, and it's the hardest question. And the question is, tell me a joke. An Irishman walks out of a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Sean. Uh, appreciate your time today. Share for show. Thank yes. you. We will uh, we will talk to you again soon. Your NBC Sports Radio update starts now. The 142nd running of the Roses. The Kentucky Derby goes to the favorite. Final furlong exaggerator is closing in. Mike was to catch with a 16th to go. Gunrunner, exaggerator on the outside. Nyquist and exaggerator. They're coming to the line together. And Nyquist is still unbeaten. He has won the Kentucky Derby. Larry Comis with the call right here on NBC Sports Radio as Nyquist remains undefeated. Gunrunner uh, finished and exaggerator We your second and third place finishers. Now the focus will shift to the Preakness Stakes. NBA playoff action, uh, Kyle Lowry actually bouncing back from two poor performances. Lowry finished with 33 points as the Raptors take a two games to one lead over the Miami Heat with a 95-91 victory in Miami. Second game of the day is in progress right now. First quarter action from Portland. Golden State without Stephen Curry. They lead 18-16, looking to take a three games to none lead. Stanley Cup playoff action. One final from earlier. St. Louis with a 4-1 victory over Dallas. They take a three games to two series lead. In progress right now, Pittsburgh and Washington. They are in the second period on NBC television. Washington has a three to one lead. Coming up about an hour from now, puck drop in San Jose between the Predators and the Sharks. That series is tied 
at two games apiece. Taking a look at the Major League Baseball scoreboard finals from earlier, it was the Yankees an 8-2 victory over Boston, Oakland over Baltimore, 8-4, Dodgers beat Toronto, 6-2. For your full scoreboards, head to NBCSportsRadio.com. You're listening to NBC Sports Radio. You're listening to KCAA, Loma Linda, California. The best station in the nation. Like to spend a few days in another world? Then write this down. Golden Bear Cottages, Big Bear Lake. Now, listen, this is not some corporate-owned operation. It's family-owned and operated by some real nice people. Unique? Oh, you bet. Golden Bear Cottages features 28 one-of-a-kind cabins on a five-acre historic site. Great for families, couples, and groups. And cabins are available with one to seven bedrooms. Golden Bear Cottages is just a stone throw from Big Bear Lake and super close to three great ski areas. Now, I could go on all day about Golden Bear Cottages in Big Bear, but to see everything, just go to goldenbear.net. Again, goldenbear.net. Golden Bear Cottages in Big Bear. Clean, comfortable, and affordable. Check them out. Goldenbear.net. From the KCAA Weather Center, I'm Rod Tanner. Well, this evening, there's a chance of showers and thunderstorms. A slight chance of rain continues overnight. The Italy Mosley County, all 54, but it winds to 20 miles an hour. For Mother's Day on Sunday, there's a chance of morning showers. We'll have a partly sunny day with a high of 69. Sunday night, we'll have some patchy fog. Otherwise, the Italy Mosley County and breezy, all 55, with winds to 20 miles an hour. Patchy fog lingers well into Monday. We'll have a partly sunny day with a high of 75. Tuesday should be sunny and warmer with a high of 82. That's your weather forecast for this hour from KCAA 106.5 FM and 1050 AM, the stations that leave no listener behind. Lifestyles Unlimited is the real estate investor education and mentoring group that has taken people by the hand and taught them how to invest in real estate for over 24 years. Our students have been so successful at creating wealth and passive income that they've won local, state, and national investor of the year awards nine of the last nine years. It's easy to see why Personal Real Estate Investor Magazine named us the best in the U.S. If you're ready to add real estate to your portfolio, go to GetMyMapNow.com to access our free live training event schedule. Wondering who the free workshop is for? We've been amazingly successful with people who are pressed for time. Doctors, lawyers, small business owners, and corporate professionals who are grinding their lives away for earned income and don't realize they can start creating passive income today within the confines of their schedules and commitments. Want to get started now? Go to MyPassiveIncomeWorkshop.com. That's MyPassiveIncomeWorkshop.com. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Do you know where you are? Well, you've done it now. You're listening to KCAA Loma Linda, your CNBC news station. So expect the unexpected. Good evening, people of faith. Thank you for tuning in to Switch Reels Gospel Hour. I am your host, Elisa. We are a diversified show that brings you not only God's Word, but the gospel music that will relax your body and mind. Also, we have guests that will give you something to remember. I pray you'll be And watch us where we go And help us to be wise In times when we don't know I pray we'll find your love. I pray we'll find your love. And hold it in our hearts. And hold it in our hearts. 
Stars go out each night. Stars go out each night. Remind us where you are. Remind us where you are. Let this be our prayer. Let this be our prayer. When shadows fill our day.
Wake up business owners, nonprofits, and professionals. You already know that no one goes anywhere without their mobile device, so why isn't your business with them? Get a mobile app for your business from appsfor50.com. There's no setup fees or long term commitment, and it includes a host of features your business can definitely benefit from, all for one low monthly cost. Let's face it, everyone's mobile. Sign up today and we'll promote your business to 10,000 new local customers for free. Go to appsfor50.com. That's A P P S F O R 50.com. Now, more with your host, Alisa, on KCAA with Switch Reels Gospel Hour. Glad to have you along. Good evening, Gospel World. You have reached Switch Reels Gospel Show. And today we have an exciting show. We have in studio live uh, Pastor JJ from, well, it's actually Gangsters for for Christ and also... um, South Bay Bureau Alliance, Ministerial Alliance. South Bureau Ministerial Alliance. That's right, that's that's right. And um, he's going to share with us, uh, you're one of the uh, first organizations to start up in Los Angeles, right? Uh, With the gang intervention. That's right, that's right. right. The godfather of gang intervention. That's right. And I kind of like today the way we're going to um, blend in the mental health. And this is um, uh, Aretha Adams. Yes. And she's going to fill us in on mental health and you can tell them mental health and removing the stigma removing Removing the stigma stigma of mental mental health yes Uh, mental illness yes yeah so we'd be remiss that we didn't uh first first congratulate you on what you've been doing all your work in the community and and how god has blessed you with this program that's going to be a benefit and blessing to uh folks all over the world now thank you i appreciate that and um I want to thank everyone in the high desert for National Prayer Day. I had a great time last Thursday, and um, before we, what we usually do is we uh, pray before we get Absolutely. started. Absolutely. Um, would you like to lead us in prayer? Sure. Let's, uh, let's we go to the throne of grace. Eternal God, as we go to the throne of grace and as we magnify and glorify you, Father, for if we had 10,000 tons, we can thank you enough for you being who you are. We thank you, Father, for what you have done, what you're doing right now, what you will do according to your holy and your righteous will. We thank you, Father, for our facilitator. We ask that you continue to bless her as she continues to do those things which are pleasing in your sight and not what's pleasing the man's ear. We pray, Father, that this fellowship time, Father, will be uh, at left and at a fly, your holy and your righteous kingdom, and we'll be so careful to give your name, praise, and glory. It's in Jesus' name we thank you. Amen. 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 Yes. Okay, so um, we're going to get started with um, um, Gangsters for Christ? Yeah, uh, okay. and, and, and actually, um, uh, God blessed uh, uh, me with the ministry over 25 years ago, and as I stated earlier, we were before... Uh, you know, it was, well, now you have, uh, it's, we have gang intervention, especially throughout Los Angeles. It's, um, it's, 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 it's a, a, you have a lot of agencies that are participating now. But at that time, we were the only one. Mm-hmm. And I can remember back when Jim Brown, when he got started with mm-hmm. his, uh, and Mary I can, I helped I worked, him with, I worked you worked with, with him. Group, yeah. Well, most of it, well, so most of the interventions now, either I helped start or, you know, or work with with them so and he was one of the first I, I come I remember back but we come a, a long ways and, and nothing but the grace of God has, has kept us because as you know in intervention you know you, you basically say I'm, I'm gonna put down my weapons and my weapons will mm-hmm. not be uh will not be carnal but my you know, will be spiritual and you, just, you basically just trust him trusting God mm-hmm. and he is and absolutely has been the one who kept us and what has happened over the years God has blessed uh he took that ministry which we started off just dealing basically with gang, uh, ex-gang members, gang members, mm-hmm. uh, and, and at you risk. And, and we basically just leveraged our relationships over the years, and, and it went into other areas of our community, which uh, uh, led to uh, situations su- such as uh, the homeless situation, now even human trafficking, yeah. and oh. as... Uh, as my sister here was dealing with the mental illness. So it mm-hmm. just kind of what we did uh, is kind of just leverage our relationships and our resources to see what, what how could we better, you know, collaborate, which is one of my favorite words, network. Mm-hmm. And I tell people that. I like that word, yeah, too. Yeah, <laughs> I, Since I was in eighth grade, I tell folks, I go back to where I, I would always talk about in junior high school, networking. Let's come together. Cause we, 
because you can get more done. And the reality of it is, uh, uh, at least if we don't stand together, we uh, the Bible right. says that a divided house cannot stand. And mm-hmm. there's more power when we, when we come together and collaborate. So over the years, to make a long story short, what has just evolved to is uh, the South Bureau Ministerial Alliance, which, uh, matter of fact, your brother and a few other folks that are collaborating with us mm-hmm. on, we all came together and basically over a year now uh, came together to see how we could best, uh, again, leverage our relationships that, so that we could better enhance the lives of, of the, uh, the people in the community. South Bureau, that area is one of the most underserved areas in Los Angeles. Oh, okay. But so we t- we took that. We didn't go for the, we didn't go for, we didn't cherry pick. We went, you know, where those that, are, that only the faithful few would go and yeah. into that to that community. And uh, God is blessing us tremendously. Well, you know, when I first started the nonprofit, we were teaching ages 14 to 17 life development skills, good work ethics and literacy. Uh, but they were all out of out of camp or on probation. But they okay. were younger. Okay. And you, you were dealing with the older group. And whereas Jim Brown's program, Amira I Can, I used to provide job opportunities Absolutely. to this guy. Excellent. Excellent. And, if it, and the reality of it, that's, that's so important and key because if you, you, can't t- you can't tell the fellows to just say no if you don't have anything for them to say yes to. And the reality of it, that they, go, they got to eat, they got to they gotta feed their families. So uh, they're gonna, if you don't give them anything, you don't allow to give them the opportunity to uh, do it the legal way, then uh, the devil got a way for them to do it too. Yeah, it's important economic development. Absolutely. You know, we need more entrepreneurs. Absolutely. Absolutely. Sure. I'm glad you bring that up because, again, um, as it would have it, one of the areas that we'd be dealing with down, and actually, down of all places, Watts, California, we're going to be uh, hosting uh, through God is Blessed, uh, uh, Barbara Statton down there, who has the Watts Theater. Mm-hmm. Which he, uh, he just blessed her with a grant, where, and we're going to be training entrepreneurs uh, are down in Watts uh, for the next uh, three months. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I uh, got rest their soul. I had some friends that were in the um, gang prevention and Lonnie Wilson. Yes, yes. You, you know, Lonnie. Lonnie, uh, Lonnie, yes, yes. And yeah. Amy Wilson, his wife. Amy, oh, his wife, yeah. yes. Wow. Yeah. Small world, yeah. huh? Small world, I tell you, yeah, but we, but we, small world, big God. That's why we say it's small and that's world. That's why what, what goes around comes, comes around is all positive. It's all positive, yes. That's all Lord, positive. Yes, yeah. yeah, so. Well, um, I think we should go to a break real fast. Um, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to leave you with the number if you'd like to call in and to speak with uh, Reverend JJ or... Aretha Adams, um, the number is area code 832-999-1050. No, I'm sorry, that's the listen-in number. Joe, why are you looking at me like that? (laughs) The number is 888-909-1050. 888, ladies and gentlemen, 909-1050. And to listen in by phone... It's 832-999-1050. Okay, so we're going to leave you with a a very nice song, and we'll be right back in a few minutes. Dottie Peoples, he's an all-time god. Yes, he is. We'll be right back.
Wake up business owners, non-profits and professionals. You already know that no one goes anywhere without their mobile device. So why isn't your business with them? Get a mobile app for your business from appsfor50.com. There's no setup fees or long-term commitment, and it includes a host of features your business can definitely benefit from, all for one low monthly cost. Let's face it, everyone's mobile. Sign up today and we'll promote your business to 10,000 new local customers for free. Go to appsfor50.com. That's appsfor 50com Thank you for being a part of Switch Reels Gospel Hour on KCAA. Back to Elisa, your host. Thank you for waiting, Gospel World. And we have in studio Reverend JJ from the South Bay Ministerial Alliance and also Gangsters for Christ. And we have a sister, uh, Aretha Adams, and um, she's going to fill us in on the mental health part. But before she gets started, I just want to let you know that she just informed us that this is Mental Health Awareness Month. Yes. <laughs> so we want to say Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. We don't want don't want to forget Absolutely. that. That's right. That's right. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm just really interested in hearing more about the mental health piece. Right. I know it's such of a great need, mm-hmm. and the awareness part is important because you know it's like cancer. You just have to keep That's going right. and going. Mm-hmm. Until it happens. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So tell us a little more about that. Okay, thank mm. you. Um, when I was pursuing, well, first of all, I am a, a mental health professional. Mm-hmm. I worked for the County of Los Angeles for 18 years. Because of my love for the field, I went back to school, and um, I attended California State University at Dominguez Hills, where I... I majored in uh, marriage and family therapy. Nice school. Yeah. Oh, did yeah. you go there? Oh, yes, I did. All right. <laughs> <Woo-hoo>. <laughs> <laughs> and while when I was in school, one of the professors mentioned we were talking. We were in cross cultural counseling, mm-hmm. and she mentioned the stigma on mental illness. And she said it was pretty much across the board. But she said, you know, I have to say that it's prevalent amongst minorities. Mm-hmm. And she said, in the African, in the African American community, that's very, you know, it's just prevalent. And that mm-hmm. day, I was just so, I was so frustrated because I couldn't understand why someone with a mental illness, with an illness, wouldn't seek out treatment. I kept thinking to myself, this is an illness. Mm-hmm. Go get help. Go right, get right. help. It's an illness. That day, I vowed that I was going to fight to um, remove the stigma mm-hmm. on mental illness. And um, two years ago, I had the opportunity to conduct um, a workshop in the church where I attend. Los and Angeles. In Los Angeles. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, uh-huh. in Los Angeles. Uh-huh. I conducted a workshop because I feel that you can't r- remove the stigma if you don't know what's going on. You don't know about mental illness. If you don't, you don't bring don't, the awareness. Exactly. Uh-huh. So I, I try to raise the awareness through a workshop, and it's entitled A Day in the Mind of mental illness a oh. day in the mind of mental illness it's a two-hour free workshop it's free no cost and, and that's uh, wonderful for the community yes yes and you know i wanted to take some time to because it is 
Mental uh, um, Health Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. Thank you for our pins. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, yes. all of you guys who are you <laughs> streaming and actually seeing us, yes. we have some beautiful pins that we pinned on that yes. um, Aretha had provided to us. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And remember to wear your green ribbons. <laughs> uh, every May. That's right. Every May right. of every, every May. year. That's right. That's Mental Health Awareness, Awareness. Month. Yes, yes. So, I see you have... Um, you have... Um, pointers on your flyer. Yeah, so the workshops include understanding mental illness, what mental illness is. We even have a section where we talk about what is normal, what's normal, what's abnormal, and people are very surprised after we do that little exercise. Um, we talk about suicide because a lot of suicide is related to mental illness. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Um, we have, we, there's a segment that talks about the warn, the risk and warning signs of suicide and how to respond in a psychiatric emergency. Um, you don't know when you're going to encounter an emergency. You know, um, I'm a mental health professional, so we deal with that all the time. Mm -hmm. But you don't know what you're going to encounter on the bus, at church. Mm -hmm. um, as a matter of mm -hmm. fact, something like that happened at church where we, someone came into the church and, and no one really knew what to do. And it mm -hmm. was like kind of like a panic. And, um, and that's when... Standoffish. Exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And then lastly, we talk about removing the stigma. <laughs> and that's getting it out to you, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. We're, we're here today to share with you a better understanding about mental health. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so these workshops are free, and you can reach me. Um, you can email me at Aretha MFT at gmail.com. Aretha, it's A-R-E-T-H-A-M, as in Mary, F-T, at gmail.com. Okay. And um, is there, um, ladies and gentlemen, there's no fee for these right. uh, seminars. Mm -hmm. They're not seminars. They're actually workshops. Workshops. Mm -hmm. um, no fee at all for these workshops. And Aretha is, um, I think you said you had 18 years worth of experience. Yes. Mm -hmm. and yes. So if you have any friends or any members of your family that um, would benefit from Aretha's services, they are free. Yes. And do we have a date for? We're, we're expanding. And do we, it's we actually were challenged, I could tell you how, even how God blessed the uh, uh, your Ministerial Alliance to get very involved in it. And we were basically charged with uh, uh, and, and challenged, uh, basically, mm -hmm. that the churches, you know, that we we have a oh, we okay. have a bad we have a bad habit of our uh, folks coming in. We'll pray for someone once they broke their leg, and, and then send them, send them, We'll mm -hmm. pray for you when you're in the hospital. Send you to the hospital, but mental illness. We'll pray for you and say we're going to pray for you. Mm -hmm. and, you know, so we were challenged mm -hmm. that we need to uh, better do understand, do more, and understand mm -hmm. that yes. God, same way God mm -hmm. blessed us with medical doctors, yes. He better, He, he mm -hmm. blessed us with psychological doctors mm -hmm. also. That's and so right. we, uh, and so that's one of the things that we're trying to push. And as God would have it, Him and His infinite wisdom, uh, one of the reasons uh, uh, that I, I normally get charged with bringing a lot of the churches together because, again, I know most of the pastors uh, down in Los Angeles, those, especially those who are, who are actually out there, uh, actually engaging with the community because of my ministry. I don't, one thing I don't have to fight folks over, <laughs> fight anybody <laughs> from my position, for <laughs> 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 preaching the gang, gangsters and what have you. I don't, so God, his effort wasn't put me, put me through a process. And my whole day, at the end of the day, find, finding out it really was, he had that plan for me, uh, f from me, my mother before him, I was there, even conceived my mother's womb that I would be doing what I'm doing today. Mm -hmm. oh, and so right. I have the opportunity, I have the ear of most when I, when I come in to speak to, uh, to most again to mm -hmm. the pastors in Los Angeles, and so I was basically charged to to do something to uh, uh, to uh, try to help assist in this uh, this this field and bringing the churches together, and that's yes. one of the things that we do. And I would Sunday. hope as you progress that you come back on the show and Absolutely. You know, yes. give us some mm -hmm. updates Update. on of what course. you're doing. Absolutely. And in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, you can um, give them your email again and you can get further information from Aretha. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Further information from Aretha at Aretha MFT at gmail.com. A R E T H A M F T at gmail.com. And you also have, a, you actually have a, a workshop coming up that you're going to be doing for South, uh, South Bureau in June, June the 11th. June for those 11th. who are, who okay. are in the LA yes. area or close to the LA area. You can, uh, June the 11th, she'll be uh, holding a workshop yes. at, at 88, at our headquarters, which is 88 Street Temple Church down 8825 South Vermont. That's LA 90044. Mm-hmm. Again, 8825 South Vermont, uh, LA 90044. 044 at 9 a.m. Yes. on June 11th. She'll be holding a free workshop there. Well, that's good. I mean, that's pretty um, in the near future. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, so that's you guys have been working. working. Well, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. That's what You're that tells me. <laughs> yeah, we're on the battlefield. Yes, it is. Yeah. Well, you know, my prayer for you guys is that, you know, I know how important that subject is mm-hmm. because you know of my nonprofit and that's one of the areas that I haven't been able to to help the families mm-hmm. in the in the high desert when they um, you know call on help in that way wow. yeah. we we have the food program right. we do the training mm-hmm. um, you know but and then we have the radio station to fill their their spirits but mm-hmm. we don't have the Aretha's the piece, mm-hmm. yeah. right. right? The mental, and it's important. I don't, mm-hmm. you know, and it touches actually, it touches everybody. But we could way, refer way. them to a, a local mental health facility, but uh, training with pay doesn't um, have an in-house mental piece, mm-hmm. which would be behoove us to have, because usually, by the time that we refer them, the problem may be a different problem. Mm-hmm. You know yes. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So as as they're standing before us is one thing. Yes. Getting to the location is going to be another. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. And not just right. in terms of travel, but in terms of their mental, mental state. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, exactly. Right. right. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. true. Yeah, we're on the same page. Yeah. Good. <laughs> and, and like I say, it affects us all. The yeah. Law enforcement, at the, at, the, at the bottom line, a lot of times, you know, it's just that 800-pound gorilla in the room. We don't want to discuss or talk about it, but when we have... Uh, we don't have to go look too far. You, we turn on the news and, and seeing the issue, uh, incidents going on across the country where we're having uh, issues with our law enforcement and community. And, my, my, and unfortunately, most of the time, somewhere in there, you're going to find some mental illness issues mm-hmm. where, where right. you know, whether you want to admit it or not, there's somewhere in, mm-hmm. in, in that's involved with some type of mental uh, At one time, there. you were a spokesman on the behalf of the people for the police department, right? Uh, I'm I'm, I'm still I'm an advocate for for I'm like this I'm an advocate for anybody who's doing good in, in our community. Why, actually, I'm glad you brought that up because I also facilitate the Watts Gang Task Force in Los Angeles, and we have the uh, a model down there where we have great our uh, police and um, our co- uh, community policing uh, down there is second to none in the nation. We have folks come all from all over the world actually fly in. Uh, to see, you know, how we operate down at, with the, at the Watts Gang Task Force. We're at Beast in Los Angeles every Monday morning where we get accountability. We meet with our law enforcement. We meet with the government from the local all the way to the uh, to the federal government. We have rep- representation, communities there, uh, the pastors, school, sc- schools. We have everyone there, and everybody uh, actually reports. We report. We find out what happened, and if we have community issues, we deal with them. Right? We don't. We can't solve them all right there, but we start the investigation. We call that like a clearance center. And right to today, we have we have some uh, some amazing uh, some amazing work has been done down down yeah. there with law enforcement. The light just came on. Okay. I missed exactly. that meeting. <laughs> exactly. That was yeah. yeah exactly. You have meetings from right. time to time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and absolutely. And so uh, uh, we have. We had an incident last last week down in Watts. I was almost unheard of where you know, four guys had a stolen car. The police uh, pursued them. They ch- chased them. They actually got out the car, shot at the police. Police uh, did not uh, return fire and took them into custody with no incident. Nobody got hurt. And that's, that's unheard of. 
Uh, yeah, but amen to that. No, I, not nothing but the grace of God and what how he's working. But a lot of it, again, like, like I say, it has to do with the fact that on Monday morning when we come in, because if you, if you trust me, if uh, they feel like someone in the community felt like they've been abused by the police, or they're going to they gonna be, be there Monday morning, mm -hmm. and you're going to sit there with their and, and report. We have the captain, the captain of the, of the precinct is sitting there, and they got an answer to this incident, you know, whatever took place. So. Mm -hmm. A lot of that's coming up. So we getting God has truly blessed us with with that again with a model now. Mm -hmm. How you can actually work with your uh, with how law enforcement and community can get together because well, I don't have to tell you, but you and uh, even our Afro American community that was like taboo, especially like in Watts. You you didn't the children weren't even allowed to talk with the police. So, you know mm -hmm. we have lost no communication. But like you know in now, Compton in Compton and Compton yeah. and Watts, Watts there's yeah. a lot of success stories. Too. Exactly, that's where they're at yeah. right now. Uh -huh. Are you they familiar with great. John Bryan? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. John is from yeah. Compton. Compton. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was Absolutely. watching a video on him the other day. Yeah. And mm -hmm. um, you know I think that that John has done wonders. Mm -hmm. yes. You know. Yes. And God has God really blessed, blessed him. him. Yeah. Absolutely. I remember the last time we met. It was the day. Of the Rodney King riot. Wow! Yeah. And we yeah. were we were standing down the street from the the hamburger stand, and somebody broke the window. Broke the window. Okay. And John says, "I'm out of here." <laughs> 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 wow, well, bro, we got okay. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think um, we're going to give your ear a little break for a moment, <laughs> and and leave you with some good music. Um, we have in studio, uh, Reverend JJ and his sister, um, Aretha, Aretha Adams. It's not like I don't, I forget your name. Right. It's just, it takes me a, a <laughs> moment to get to Aretha because I've been writing your name. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. <laughs> but if you'd like to um, call in with any questions or comments for either Reverend JJ or Aretha, you can call area code 888-909-1050 and we are here until seven o'clock right now we're going to a break stay tuned and we will be right back and that song will be matt redman nothing but the blood mm. <laughs> Your blood speaks a better word than all the empty claims I've heard upon this earth. Speaks righteousness for me and stands in my defense. Jesus, it's your blood. Your blood. Your blood speaks a better word. All the empty claims I've heard upon this song Speaks righteousness for me And stands in my defense Jesus, it's your blood
Wake up business owners, non profits and professionals. You already know that no one goes anywhere without their mobile device. So why isn't your business with them? Get a mobile app for your business from AppsFor50.com. There's no setup fees or long-term commitment, and it includes a host of features your business can definitely benefit from, all for one low monthly cost. Let's face it, everyone's mobile. Sign up today and we'll promote your business to 10,000 new local customers for free. Go to AppsFor50.com. That's A-P-P-S-F-O-R-5-0.com. KCAA 1050 AM, 106.5 FM, and your host, Elisa, bring you Switch Reels Gospel Hour. Thank, Thank you, you for tuning in. Thank you for waiting, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Um, Elisa, your host, and we have in studio uh, Reverend JJ and Aretha Adams. And I see we have a couple of callers, so caller number one, are you there? Yes, my Hi. name is Ronald Jones. Ronald Jones, how are you? I'm Elisa. Yes. Fine, how are you? Nice to uh, see you. Nice to meet you. I'm very well, and thank you. What's I going am... on, cuz? Hi, hi, James Jones yeah. and my cousin, Aretha Franklin. I mean, oh, sorry. <laughs> Aretha Franklin. <laughs> hi, Ronald. She can't say. Hi. Um, I was listening in. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm proud of what Gangsters for Christ, Reverend James Jones, is doing in the community. It takes a lot of courage to go out in the, in the communities and you know, and, and far out to, you know, reach those who are sort of unreachable uh, when it seems as though society has kind of left them behind. So keep up the good work and uh, continue to, you know, uh, put your faith in Christ because I know that out there is pretty dangerous and, and uh, there's all different kind of obstacles. But at the same time, I have a question for uh, Aretha Adams. Uh, when it comes to mental health, versus just normal um, physical health. You know, we can understand and, and see when a person has a maybe a broken arm or something physically yes. wrong with them. But how is it determinable to determine if a person has some sort of a mental illness that requires, um, you know, mental services? It's kind of difficult to see someone in action and kind of determine because of their action, mm -hmm. they need some sort of a you know mental assistance. How 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 do you determine that? But first of all, how would you define mental health and how is it recognizable? Well, okay. First of all, when it when the when it begins to disrupt their daily functioning, that's when they need to to get help. When it you know when when the illness is such that it disrupts, you know, the way that a person feels, the way that they think, the way that they act, and it's disrupting their their daily functioning. That's when they need to to get services. That's when they sh that's when they should seek out services. There are a lot of people that have, um, you know, mental issues, but when it's at the point where it's starting to disrupt their their functioning, that's okay. when they should seek out treatment. Okay, so it sort of a definition of maybe a psychological problem that's uh, implanted in them that maybe occurs occasionally or it kind of disrupts because of maybe some of the, the lifestyles or the issues of life that may arise. In other words, what I'm trying to figure out is the actual definition and how can you recognize a person who is in need of mental health other than someone who's just having a bad day or maybe a bad week they're trying to figure out how to pay their taxes their children are out of control so it's affecting them once these issues are taken care of everything go, goes back to normal but in a mental health situation how would you be determined that that's what it is and it's not something else that's temporary well you know, sometimes it's hard to determine, you know, what it is. Yeah. That's why that's why they need to seek um, help. That's why they need professional help. Because if you're not in the if you're not in the field, if you're not a mental health professional, um, you might not be able to tell 
what's going on. Well, you could just say like a person with bipolar disorder, for instance, you might just say, okay, this person is just having mood swings. Yeah. Uh, most people, a lot but of people we all, have. We exactly, all have that. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's <bad>. why. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So yes. James, when it, when it gets to the point when it, it interrupts your yes. daily function, yes. um, you know, the week has passed and mm -hmm. you're still having problems exactly. and you probably would need to go and seek some help. Yes. Cause we want to say thank you for your love and your support. Cause we oh you know, no problem. Yeah, thank you very much. Look forward, look forward. We'll see you, see you tomorrow, <laughs> church. But I think okay. that ultimately, yeah. when they seek that help, mm -hmm. um, thank you very much. you're welcome, James. Thank you. I think when they <laughs> seek that help, mm -hmm. then they get the uh, counseling that they need exactly. to be evaluated exactly. and to move forward yes, from there. Exactly. Okay, we have another caller. Caller. Caller, are you there? Yes, I am. Hi, who am I speaking with? Uh, this is Dwayne. Hi, Dwayne. I'm Elisa from Switch Reels. Yeah, um, this, uh, it's Wayne without the D. Oh, I'm sorry, Wayne. It's okay. How are you today? I'm, I'm blessed. Uh, I, this is the uh, most important uh, issue that you guys have going on. I just wanted to uh, give my input on um, your call for where your, your guest that's in, in the studio right now. Okay, well, thank you. Thank Bless you for calling. Bless you. Uh, I, I just want to say that uh, God is good. Uh, God is great. All mm -hmm. the time. And I uh, I want to give uh, props to uh, to JJ uh, Minister JJ uh, doing the work that he's doing in the community. Uh, bless you. Um, it's so many. It's a it's a justice and it's a righteous uh, uh, work that he's doing, um, saving lives and uh, transforming lives. Um, Praise God. So I just want to give him props on that. Bless you. Well, thank you. I, I appreciate that. Um, do you know um, Reverend J.J. personally? Yes, I do. I, um, I know him from uh, growing up in a uh, church in Los Angeles, uh, New Life Baptist Church, and I also know his sister, the other guest, um, and I had a couple questions for her. I want to piggyback on uh, Ronald Jones' uh, question. Uh, I was going to bring up uh, what are some of the signs of mental health but uh, I understand it's uh, maybe disruption from a, a normal living from day to day. Right. But so my my second question is, what? Why is it? Uh, why is there a stigma in the black community? I mean, is it based in uh, in shame or pride? Or uh, because um, when I was growing up uh, years ago, we didn't hear a lot of uh, mental health. You know, it was either you know uh, it's black and white or good or bad. Um, there was no gray area and. Um, I yep. just want to know yeah, why is the stigma now? Uh, what, why is there a stigma, or has it always been that way in the black community? And why do you remember when they used to, they'd have Uncle John mm -hmm. in the back room mm -hmm. somewhere, or tell you he had yes. left town, he had left town, <laughs> and he was really in the back room sliding, you, well, you saw soul food, did you slide in the food on the yeah. table? Yeah, yeah, it was better. Right? It's always yeah, been there, in other words. There. It's yeah. always yeah. been there. But I want to say that there's a stigma across the board. Yeah. It's not, it's not, and you know, it's not just in the African American communities or in the Hispanic communities. Yeah, it's yeah. across the board, yeah, yeah. but you know, they said it's, it's prevalent in the African-American communities and yeah. I'm not sure if it you know I know my mom God rest her soul she all often talked about down south yeah. when you know things would mm -hmm. you know you didn't know about this long-lost uncle that was locked up in the room so it, it's it's I think because people misunderstand it they don't understand it and, and there's so much shame because they don't treat it like an illness right they they, they it's different than cancer and in yes. diabetes and hypertension and so because they don't understand it, it there's such a stigma and so much embarrassment and shame that's attached to it but I think it's always been that way so you see, Wayne, that's why your question was very important. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, we're down to the last minute. We want to thank you for calling. That's right. Wayne, are you still there? It was my, it was my pleasure, and uh, thank you guys for uh, taking my call. Thank yes, you, stay Wayne. Stay blessed, bro. Well, All ladies right. and gentlemen, it has been an enlightenment tonight. Yeah, Yay. Praise God. And you guys are going to be coming back. I mean, Absolutely. We'll yes. talk later about putting you on the schedule. And um, Absolutely. ladies and gentlemen, we'll be updating you on uh, Gangsters for Christ. Absolutely. And, and I'd be remiss if I don't. i got to say a uh, shout-out to my cousins in Austin, Texas, <laughs> Omaha, Texas, and down in the county, Louisiana. <laughs> Go, Texas. <laughs> 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 I have some Texas blood in my oh, side. Right. 
right. <laughs> Go Texas. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, um, I, um, we are down to our closing. Um, we have less than a minute left, okay. but I just wanted to thank you guys for coming. Thank you for having me. And if you wanted to having. give um, Aretha, uh, her email is... A as in Apple, R as in Rodney, E as in Ethel, T as in Tom, H as in Henry, A as in Apple, M as in Mary, F as in Frank, T as in Tom, at gmail.com. Thank you. Man, I'm gangsters for Christ <laughs> at Yahoo. At <laughs> Yahoo. Spell it all the way out, gangsters, plural, for Christ at You've Yahoo. You've been listening to Switch Reels Gospel Christ. Show, your host, Elisa, and we'll see you Saturday. You're listening to KCAA, Loma Linda, California. The best station in the nation. Your NBC Sports Radio update starts now. The 142nd running of the Roses goes to the favorite. And they come to the final. Furlong Exaggerator is closing in. Mike was the catch with a 16th to go. Gunrunner, Exaggerator on the outside. Nyquist and Exaggerator. They're coming to the line together. And Nyquist is still unbeaten. He has won the Kentucky Derby. Larry Comas with the call right here on NBC Sports Radio as the favorite Nyquist remains undefeated, now 8-0, winning the Kentucky Derby. NBA playoff action in progress right now. They're at the half in Portland where the Trailblazers have a 58-46 lead over the Golden State Warriors. Steph Curry's not playing once again. Earlier, the Toronto Raptors get 33 points from Kyle Lowry as they defeat Miami 95-91. They take a two-games-to-one series lead. A final now in Washington as the Capitals beat the Penguins 3-1. to They trail that series three games to two. The series now three games to two in favor of St. Louis as they defeat Dallas 4-1. to Puck will drop in minutes on NBCSN San Jose and Nashville. It's game five. That series tied at two games apiece. Major League Baseball in progress right now. The Mets with a 4-3 lead over San Diego going to the bottom of the fifth inning. In that game, Bartolo Colon, Mets pitcher at 42 years old, blasted his first career home run. Going to the top of the ninth inning, the White Sox have a 6-2 lead over Minnesota. Bottom of the eighth, Arizona leads Atlanta 3-2. Top of the ninth, Milwaukee and Cincinnati are tied at six. Top of the ninth as well, Seattle a 2-1 lead over Houston. Going to the top of the eighth inning, Miami and Philadelphia are tied at three. Bottom third in L.A., the Angels and Rays are scoreless. Finals from earlier, Oakland, an 8-4 victory over Baltimore. The Dodgers beat Toronto 6-2. Texas over Detroit 10-3. St. Louis, a 6-4 win over Pittsburgh. The Cubs beat the Nationals 8-5. For your full scoreboard, head to NBCSportsRadio.com. KCAA Loma Linda. Call the dogs and put out the fire. This is Baxter Black with a little peek at if Herefords were black. What holds the loaded 30,000-pound trailer to the heavy-duty truck? What holds the 38-foot RV trailer to the dually? What holds the two-horse trailer with your daughter's favorite pony to the half-ton pickup? Well, the odds are it's a B&W trailer hitch, probably a turnover bowl, American-made, employee-owned, customer-tuned, and proud of their part in America's greatness. B&W, holding things together down the road. Why do breeders of registered cattle choose the breed they do? And you know as well as I do that there are many breeds, and you can find diehard supporters for each and every one of them. And we all know that each breed has its benefits, and yes, some even have flaws. And in real life, that's how individual bulls and cows and herds are are picked and traded. But supporters of a breed sometimes will do anything to disguise or get around obvious defects in their animal or their breed. Oh, he's just performance-deprived. <laughs> well, matter of fact, sometimes it's hard to explain the loyalty a person has to a breed. I mean, if Herefords were black and Angus were red, would breeders of Hereford breed Angus instead? I mean, would the people who bred Herefords first be now breeding Angus if things were reversed? Or would they be loyal to red, white, and true, to color of cowlick be always true blue? If such were the case, would they diss all the blacks, tell jokes about prolapse, compare them to yaks, 
more suited for saddle or wearing a yoke than stubbornly breeding until they go broke. And those of the Aberdeen Angus cartel, would they tout maternal endowments as well, promoting their native resistance to thorns while cursing as mutants those not sprouting horns, just dragging their sheath through the cheat grass and burrs like leaky old bass boats nobody insures. Debate would rage on, like it does anyway, if South had worn blue or the North had worn gray, or if Henry Ford had been Hank Chevrolet. You'd still be a Ford man, or would you, today? So if Herefords were black and Angus were red, would breeders of Herefords breed Angus instead? The question begs deep philosophical thought, but don't get disgruntled or get overwrought. The breeders of purebreds run due to the grain, and efforts to change them would just be in vain, and not because they think other cattle are bad. I'm just sticking with this one, because that's what Dad had. This is Baxter Black, brought to you by B&W Turnover Bowl. Are you looking for the right place to purchase your landscaping items? Well, come see us at Hydroscape. Hydroscape offers a large selection of irrigation products, including Irritrol and Toro such as their efficient precision nozzles. For 40 years, Hydroscape has been family owned and operated, serving Southern California. With 17 locations, our knowledgeable and experienced staff is equipped to help you with all your irrigation, landscape, and outdoor living projects. Whether you're installing irrigation systems, wanting to maintain a healthy landscape, or simply create a beautiful lit space for outdoor entertaining, Hydroscape is the place to go. Visit our website at hydroscape.com for more information and find helpful articles on our blog. Or call our customer service center at 1-800-395-4477. This is KCAA. It's a few minutes after 7 p.m. on a fine Saturday evening. You've tuned in to Inland Empire Polkas with Polka Tom. Gary Siebert's Polka Power California, starting us off on this episode of Inland Empire Polkas with Polka Tom. 
But we started with The Mystery Polka by Gary Siebert's Polka Power, California. Of course, The Mystery Polka is the theme song of Joey Miskell and Lou Tree Bar when they were together as The Mystery Band. Ah, and that polka packs a good punch. And we're just going to keep it punching and going and give as many hardcore polkas as we can here in this hour. We're going to stick with Gary Siebert's Polka Power, California and turn to them to do one called Stample's Polka. <laughs>
Joe Fedorchek and his orchestra. That's called Wonder Boy Polka. Here's Ted Lang and Power Supply from their little CD called I've Just Seen a Face. <laughs> I always want to keep on smiling. <laughs>
Box, featuring the vocals of Molly Busta. That's from their first CD called Squeeze Me. We were listening to L-O-V-E, Love. Wow, it's time for us to take our first break in the program for some messages. You're listening to Inland Empire Polkas, the polka time heard right here on KCAA Radio, 1050 AM on your AM radio dial, 106.5 FM on your FM radio dial, and KCAARadio.com on the Internet. We're here Saturday evenings from 7 to 9 p.m. bringing you all the best in polka music. We'll be right back. Education changes lives, and I'm living proof. My name is Nadia Flores, and when I was a child, no one in my neighborhood thought college was possible. When I was 13, I was helped by Think Together mentors and tutors, and now, 14 years later, I have my degree, and I work for the organization that gave so much to me. Think Together is a nonprofit agency serving 100,000 students each year, closing the achievement gap and making hope possible. Be a part of the solution by donating to Think Together today. For more information, go to thinktogether.org. Think means Teaching, helping, inspiring, and nurturing kids. Like to spend a few days in another world? Then write this down. Golden Bear Cottages, Big Bear Lake. Now, listen, this is not some corporate-owned operation. It's family-owned and operated by some real nice people. Unique? Oh, you bet. Golden Bear Cottages features 28 one-of-a-kind cabins on a five-acre historic site. Great for families, couples, and groups. And cabins are available with one to seven bedrooms. Golden Bear Cottages is just a stone throw from Big Bear Lake and super close to three great ski areas. Now, I could go on all day about Golden Bear Cottages in Big Bear, but to see everything, just go to goldenbear.net. Again, goldenbear.net. Golden Bear Cottages in Big Bear. Clean, comfortable, and affordable. Check them out. Goldenbear.net. Listen closely. There is an incredible opportunity for gains right now in the precious metals market, especially in silver. The supply of silver is drying up due to increased industrial and investment demand. Silver will not be available much longer, so take advantage of this unique opportunity today. Precious metals are going to make a lot of money for a lot of people in the next decade. Call 888-551-2646 or go to lrccoins.com. Dot com. Hi there, this is Megan and Leo with Design Air, your local family-owned and operated air conditioning and heating company, proudly serving the Inland Empire. Have you been wasting money with costly repairs for your home's old and broken down air conditioning and heating system? Why spend your hard-earned money on just prolonging your aged and effective equipment when you could upgrade to a new high-energy efficient system today with zero money down using Hero Financing? Lower your utility cost and keep more money in your pocket. Give us a call today for your free consultation. Get a pre-approval in only seconds. No income or credit scores required, and it doesn't hurt to apply. We are Design Air. Call us today at 951-369-0943. Again, that's 951-369-0943. Or find us online at designair.co. Again, that's designair.co. That phone number again is 951 359-0943. Welcome back to Inland Empire Polkas with Polka Tom. Hope you've been checking out the podcasts. I know quite a few people listen that way. You go on to kcaaradio.com, look for the picture Polka Tom, and uh, look for the podcasts. Click on my picture, you'll see a lot of episodes over the time we've been here at KCAA. So I hope you can come back and listen over and over again. All righty. Let's turn to our buddy Stan Blout from his CD, It's a Blout Time. Here's Seven Springs Polka.
the unmistakable sound of the Frank Zeitz Orchestra from the album Polkas and Waltzes from Slovenia. That's probably my favorite. You hear me play that one a lot. Frankie Zeitz and his orchestra playing the Hoyer Trio style, of course. We were listening to Kamnik Polka. You're listening to KCAA Loma Linda at 106.5 FM K293CF Moreno Valley. When I first got on the radio, I didn't know how to uh, pronounce any of these Slovenian words, and I stumbled through everything, and <laughs> that was one I always stumbled through, and the next one is one from the Malacca brothers that I stumbled through. It's called Nadlesk Polka. <laughs>
great number there done by the Walter Ostenek Band. That's from the CD Polkas United, a, a CD he did with Gaylord Klanik where Walter does all the even tunes on the CD, Gaylord does all the odd. Oh, that was a Wayside Polka, a good old Johnny Vandal tune. And we're going to stick with this same CD because I want to hear some Gaylord Klanik. And we're going to go to the tune right before that on the CD called My Polka Pal. is playing once more. It's time to get on the floor. Come on and dance, my polka pal. Now that the whole gang is here, it's time to give a big cheer. Come on and dance, my polka pal. Forget your troubles and woes and just start tapping your toes. Come on and dance, my polka pal. We'll just polka away. Peace. 
Roger Bright Band, Before They Take Me Away. Vocals there with uh, Craig Ebel and Denny Anderson. Great song from Roger Bright. Well, before they take me away, we got to have some messages here on the network. We have to take a pause for the cause, so to speak. You're listening to Inland Empire Polkas with Polka Time. Heard right here on KCAA Radio, 1050 AM on your AM radio dial, 106.5 FM on your FM radio dial, and always on the internet at kcaaradio.com. We'll be right back. KCAA is proud to announce another new service for all North American listeners. Now you can listen to our station on your telephone by calling us at 832-999-1050. Our service is available on any standard telephone, cell phone, or smartphone. Simply call 832-999-1050. That's 832-999-1050. Standard cell phone rates may apply. Hi, folks. Ronnie McMullen here talking about the gain you receive from Get the Tea. A lot of food out there is not really food, but more like filler. Almost all fillers are GMO nightmares. When foreign fillers filled with toxins enter our body, well, we don't run so well. We are being bombarded with poor air quality, chemical water, and food fillers that abuse our bodies. Huh. And we wonder why they're building more hospitals. How about a clean checkup? Life Change Tea helps you fight toxins, fillers, bad air and water. All you have to do is drink two 8-ounce glasses of tea a day. Save money by getting healthy. Doctor visits are costly. Healthy exercise and Life Change Tea could be your answer. So order now at GetTheTea.com. That's GetTheTea.com. Don't put it off. Call us. 928-308-0404. Again, 928-308-0408. And by the way, if you're going to call us, we say good call. Like to spend a few days in another world? Then write this down. Golden Bear Cottages, Big Bear Lake. Now, listen, this is not some corporate-owned operation. It's family-owned and operated by some real nice people. Unique? Oh, you bet. Golden Bear Cottages features 28 one-of-a-kind cabins on a five-acre historic site. Great for families, couples, and groups. And cabins are available with one to seven bedrooms. Golden Bear Cottages is just a stone throw from Big Bear Lake and super close to three great ski areas. Now, I could go on all day about Golden Bear Cottages in Big Bear, but to see everything, just go to goldenbear.net. Again, goldenbear.net. Golden Bear Cottages in Big Bear. Clean, comfortable, and affordable. Check them out. Goldenbear.net. Welcome back to Inland Empire Polkas with Polka Tom. Glad to have you along for the show today. And I do want to remind you, for you uh, folks listening via the computer, you can always log on to kcaaradio.com and look for Inland Empire Polkas. There's a picture of Polka Tom there. You click on that, and you can look and review the podcasts, which are the recorded episodes that we've already aired. And I think they still go all the way back to the first show that we did a long time ago. But anyway, you can go on there, click on it, and listen to Polka Music all day long with me on uh, basically rebroadcasts of the show. So they call them podcasts because they were developed to be on a uh, iPod device originally. And uh, many folks just like to listen that way. All right. Well, this part of the program, I usually slow things down. But you know, the mood I'm in today, I don't think I'm going to do any waltzes. We're going to stick to polkas. 
And I always turn to the Steve Bailey Sr. Polka Band for a nice, beautiful waltzes. I know a lot of people like their Italian uh, waltzes. But we're going to do a polka this time, and we're going to get back into the party mood. Here's Steve and the boys. Let's have a party.
great music from Steve Meisner off his CD called Meisner Time. We were listening to There's Yes, Yes in Your Eyes, or some people call that Your Lips Tell Me No, No. I like Steve's approach, using the positive. There's Yes, Yes in Your Eyes. All right, let's turn to our buddy who's in charge of that Three Ring Circus, Alex Meisner, from his CD called Three Ring Circus. Here's Mark Polka.
Al Gruber Band, who has morphed into the Gruber Family Band since Al retired. That's from their CD, Three Generations. Gruber Family, Frank Kusher is that name of that one. I was in the mood right now to go back in time. And I said, well, should I go back in time or should I play something Polish? And I thought, well, I can do both. I picked up the CD, The Greatest Polka Hits, Jimmy Weber and the Sounds. Ever since I first started polka DJing, we had Jimmy Weber and the Sound albums, and I fell in love with the sound of Jimmy Weber and the Sounds. Here they are doing Open Up Your Heart. Keep your heart open and your mind open and your radio tuned to KCAA. And we'll be back after all the short messages here at the top of the hour. You're listening to Inland Empire Polkas with Polka Time right here on KCAA. 10.50 a.m. on your a.m. radio dial, 106.5 FM on your FM radio dial, and always... You're listening to KCAA, Loma Linda, California. The best station in the nation. I'm Dr. Anthony Lizowitz, and this is Climate Connections. Since the West Nile virus was first identified in New York in the late 90s, it has been spread by migrating birds to every state except Hawaii and Alaska. After a mosquito bites a bird infected with West Nile virus, it can then transmit it to any human. Most people infected will not notice, 
but about 1 in 5 will contract a fever and experience flu-like symptoms. Less than 1% result in a neurologic disease that can be fatal. A warming climate, however, magnifies the risk of exposure. Mosquitoes are cold-blooded, so the warmer it gets, the faster they develop, and they'll produce more eggs, and there'll be more female mosquitoes biting people and potentially transmitting the disease. That's Noor Tietze of the Santa Clara County Vector Control District in California. He explains mosquitoes also thrive during a drought. The water's not flowing very much. It's stagnating more. There's a lot of organic material there that provides them their larvae food source. So their numbers are increased. With no way yet to treat West Nile virus, it's important to use bug repellent and wear protective clothing during mosquito season, especially as warm spells and droughts become more common. Climate Connections is produced by the Yale Center for Environmental Communication. Learn more at YaleClimateConnections.org. Redlands Blueprint and Commercial Printing Company has been serving the greater Inland Empire for over 60 years. For all of your printing needs, from full-color printing to high-speed copying and everything in between, go to Redlands Blueprint and Commercial Printing Company. Their staff is committed to your total satisfaction. Great service isn't just lip service at Redlands Blueprint and Commercial Printing Company. It's the way they do business year after year. Having trouble finding drafting supplies? Redlands Blueprint and Commercial Printing Company still carries a complete selection. Redlands Blueprint and Commercial Printing Company is rated high in customer satisfaction by Value Star, an independent rating company. For all of your personal or business printing, call Redlands Blueprint and Commercial Printing Company at 909-792-3478. That's 792-3478, or visit them on New York Street in Redlands off the I-10 and the Crosstown Freeway. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready. It's Wolfman Jack. Sometimes I get to thinking there's just not enough love and romance left in our lives today. And that's why I like to reminisce and to relive that first feeling of love. And do it all over again. Did you boogie with your baby in the back row of the movie show? The Wolf Man's back all the way on KCAA at midnight, Friday and Saturday nights, coming in March. Don't miss The Wolf Man on 1050 AM and 106.5 FM. KCAA. Join Uncle Buck for my side of the song. It's the true story behind some of music's biggest songs. Get the truth about You and Tequila, written by Matresha Berg and Dina Carter. You and Tequila make me crazy. The truth about the song Like a Rolling Stone by Bob Dylan. Dylan might be telling you the truth when he says, I don't know what it means. Angie by the Rolling Stones. Get the truth. It's My Side of the Song with your host, Uncle Buck. Join us for My Side of the Song every Saturday night with Uncle Buck. Go ahead and say it. We're all ears. KCAA. It's a few minutes after 8 p.m. here at KCAA and time for the second half of Inland Empire Polkas with Polka Tom.
That's Gary Siebert's Polka Power California with Goofy's Polka. We're going to stick with Gary Siebert's Polka Power California and listen to this one where they did a little Dixieland style. It's called Green River featuring Freddie Pepper on the vocals. Now we were sailing down that old Green River on the good ship Rock and Ride. But we were floating too far, got stuck on a bar. I was so alone, wishing I were home. The ship went down with the captain and crew. There was only one thing left for me to do. I had to drink the old green river dry just to get back home to you. Rock and ride, but we were floating too far. Got stuck on the bar. I was so alone, wishing I were home. The ship went down with the captain and crew. There was only one thing left for me to do. I had to drink that old green river dry just to get back home to you.
yes, the Malacca Brothers. One I have never played that often, probably because it's only on vinyl. You could hear the scratching of the record as it played. That one's called Girl Make a Corsage. <laughs> kind of an interesting title. I'm going to have to ask Papa Joe exactly where that title comes from. I'm not exactly sure what a girl making a corsage has to do with a strong polka like that. I'm going to give you another one from the Malacca Brothers. Here's Wayward Gypsy. <laughs>
JoJo's Polka, the Joe Fedorchek Orchestra. We got to take a break for some messages on the program. You're listening to Inland Empire Polkas, the Polka Tom heard right here on KCAA Radio, 1050 AM on your AM radio dial, 106.5 FM on your FM radio dial, and KCAA Radio.com on the internet. We're here Saturday evenings from 7 to 9 p.m., bringing you all the best in polka music. Education changes lives, and I'm living proof. My name is Nadia Flores, and when I was a child, no one in my neighborhood thought college was possible. When I was 13, I was helped by Think Together mentors and tutors, and now, 14 years later, I have my degree, and I work for the organization that gave so much to me. Think Together is a nonprofit agency serving 100,000 students each year, closing the achievement gap and making hope possible. Be a part of the solution by donating to Think Together today. For more information, go to thinktogether.org. Think means teaching, helping, inspiring, and nurturing kids. Like to spend a few days in another world? Then write this down. Golden Bear Cottages, Big Bear Lake. Now, listen, this is not some corporate-owned operation. It's family-owned and operated by some real nice people. Unique? Oh, you bet. Golden Bear Cottages features 28 one-of-a-kind cabins on a five-acre historic site. Great for families, couples, and groups. And cabins are available with one to seven bedrooms. Golden Bear Cottages is just a stone throw from Big Bear Lake and super close to three great ski areas. Now, I could go on all day about Golden Bear Cottages in Big Bear, but to see everything, just go to goldenbear.net. Again, goldenbear.net. Golden Bear Cottages in Big Bear. Clean, comfortable, and affordable. Check them out. Goldenbear.net. Listen closely. There is an incredible opportunity for gains right now in the precious metals market, especially in silver. The supply of silver is drying up due to increased industrial and investment demand. Silver will not be available much longer, so take advantage of this unique opportunity today. Precious metals are going to make a lot of money for a lot of people in the next decade. Call 888-551-2646 or go to lrccoins.com. Com. Hi there, this is Megan and Leo with Design Air, your local family-owned and operated air conditioning and heating company, proudly serving the Inland Empire. Have you been wasting money with costly repairs for your home's old and broken down air conditioning and heating system? Why spend your hard-earned money on just prolonging your aged and effective equipment when you could upgrade to a new high-energy efficient system today with zero money down using Hero Financing? Lower your utility cost and keep more money in your pocket. Give us a call today for your free consultation. Get a pre-approval in only seconds. No income or credit scores required, and it doesn't hurt to apply. We are Design Air. Call us today at 951-369-0943. Again, that's 951-369-0943. Or find us online at designair.co. Again, that's designair.co. That phone number again is 951 951- Three six nine zero nine four three. Welcome back to Inland Empire Polkas with Paul Tom, and uh, sort of got in this mode of playing two in a row. So let's stick with the Fedorchek Orchestra. Here's Joe and the Boys with Fiumara's Polka. <laughs>
Steve Garchar and his Polk Orchestra. It's from the album For Old Time's Sake. You're listening to KCAA Loma Linda at 106.5 FM, K293CF, Moreno Valley. Let's do another one from this same CD. For old time's sake, Steve Garchar and his Polka Orchestra, Dancing Away Polka. Sing. 
from his CD Meisner time. That's Steve Meisner. That was a good one called Gino's Polka. One more from the Meisner time CD. Here is CB's Polka. <laughs> Once again, Steve Meisner, CB's Polka. we got to take our last break for some messages. You're listening to Inland Empire Polkas with Polka Tom. Heard right here on KCAA Radio, 1050 AM on your AM radio dial, 106.5 FM on your FM radio dial, and always on the Internet at KCAARadio.com. We'll be right back. KCAA is proud to announce another new service for all North American listeners. Now you can listen to our station on your telephone by calling us at 832-999-1050. Our service is available on any standard telephone, cell phone, or smartphone. Simply call 832-999-1050. That's 832-999-1050. Standard cell phone rates may apply. Hi, folks. Ronnie McMullen here talking about the gain you receive from Get the Tea. A lot of food out there is not really food, but more like filler. Almost all fillers are GMO nightmares. When foreign fillers filled with toxins enter our body... 
Well, we don't run so well. We are being bombarded with poor air quality, chemical water, and food fillers that abuse our bodies. Huh. And we wonder why they're building more hospitals. How about a clean checkup? Life Change Tea helps you fight toxins. Fillers, bad air and water. All you have to do is drink two eight ounce glasses of tea a day. Save money by getting healthy. Doctor visits are costly. Healthy exercise and life change tea could be your answer. So order now at getthetea.com. That's getthetea.com. Don't put it off. Call us 928 308 0408. Again, 928 308 0408. And by the way, if you're going to call us, we say, Good call. Like to spend a few days in another world? Then write this down. Golden Bear Cottages, Big Bear Lake. Now, listen, this is not some corporate-owned operation. It's family-owned and operated by some real nice people. Unique? Oh, you bet. Golden Bear Cottages features 28 one-of-a-kind cabins on a five-acre historic site. Great for families, couples, and groups. And cabins are available with one to seven bedrooms. Golden Bear Cottages is just a stone throw from Big Bear Lake and super close to three great ski areas. Now, I could go on all day about Golden Bear Cottages in Big Bear, but to see everything, just go to goldenbear.net. Again, goldenbear.net. Golden Bear Cottages in Big Bear. Clean, comfortable, and affordable. Check them out. Goldenbear.net. Did you know here at KCAA 1050 AM, that we developed an app for all your Android devices. We're talking about your smartphone, your tablets, you name it. You have an Android format, you can take KCAA with you everywhere you go. We're talking about our audio stream, our video stream, and even our podcast. Go to KCAAExpress.com. That's KCAAExpress.com. KCAAExpress.com. Welcome back to Inland Empire Polkas with Polka Tom. Glad to have you along for the show today. We're going to start off this set of music with Gordon Hartman from his Polka Frenzy CD. Here's the yodeler gets the girl. I'm often asked, why did I learn to yodel? Did I practice both night and day? Is yodeling a family tradition Or just something I learned along the way It was my dad that taught me how to yodel When he told me the facts of life Yes, he said, son, the yodeler gets the girlfriend And when he wants, the yodeler gets a wife All of the Yellow, 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 yellow
A song in your heart. Gordon Hartman from his Polkaholic CD. I was going to play Polkaholic because I haven't played that one in a long time, but I saw that uh, Keep a Song in Your Heart, and I thought that's always the way I close my show. Keep a smile on your face, put a song in your heart, always be slap happy. So I thought, uh, let's play that one. Let's uh, slow it down and let's keep it going with waltzes. Now we're going to turn to the Gruber family from the Al Gruber Three Generations CD and give you. Say thank you, dear, and give her roses. Or in German, Saga Dunkelnschein mit Roten Rosen. The Gruber family. Yeah. 
Oh, my God. 